everyone and welcome to a look at the Dinosaur Tracker website. It's been about two weeks since we last had a look at it and uh, I've, I've heard word through the grapevine that there's been a few things added to it. I was told also that it might be like stream worthy. So as you can see, I mean, if you watched our last video, the planet is now covered in way more red and blue dots, meaning there's been a lot more sightings of dinosaurs. So we're going to have a look. We're going to jump in and just, you know, see what we can find. And I'm, I'm now going to start the uh, arduous task of now trying. Oh, there we go. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to find something uh, that uh, we haven't seen before because I clicked main. I've been testing this because I've had loads of issues, but that, that, that's all aside. So this was the hunter one. So that sound effect is the jump, and then I love this, and then the the hit is the pain. Except for that last bit. That last bit's not the hunter, but the other two are... Oh, I love it. I love this. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's see what else we can find, shall we? Uh, ooh, this is new. Sighting Carnotaurus. A person stopped their car to capture this image of a walking Carnotaurus, virtually camouflaged between the trees. I like it. A little nod to the uh, Lost World novel there about the camouflage. However... It's not really a camouflage one, but I like it nonetheless. And just double check to make sure there's nothing hidden away there. No, good, good. Orlando. Oh, this is new. We have a Stegosaurus. Drivers were forced to wait as an adult Stegosaur inspected their vehicles. Sir. I mean, a lot of people now are uh, putting the question forward, like, how? How did these dinosaurs get everywhere so quickly and all over the world and the theory i think is that we've had four years between falling kingdom the movie and dominion so you, you saw that similar with jurassic world and falling kingdom there was like it kind of like kept track of like the time when they released it was almost like it was real time since falling kingdom there's been four years of dinosaurs being cloned by other companies and transported and stuff like that which is probably why we've ended up the way we are uh oh we got a sinoceratops here uses some quick thinking and some handily conjured lettuce <laughs> okay sean the sword you know what, what? sorry tardy? i'm so sorry but you your name that kept a sinoceratops at bay this is interesting we've got a link on his name oh it's a <laughs> it's a real person oh, okay wow oh this is interesting Ooh, i'm excited oh so this is i think yeah this is what was at the end of fallen kingdom <laughs> which is quite nice that they've actually put it in to the uh, the website now i'm, I'm wondering oh <gasps> i think i remember seeing like somebody said this is amazing hold on hold on hold on Allosaurus aggression level moderate. <laughs> the guy's dead. <laughs> There's no way he survived despite this disturbing footage. This lucky person survived an attack from a juvenile Allosaurus after losing their way back to their campsite near Devil's Tower. Are you kidding me? No, they died. It was like the same height of the, if a, if a dinosaur, like an Allosaurus, was the same size as me. I'm dead. There's, there's nothing I can do. As humans, we are terrible at being able to defend ourselves without tools. <laughs> You're saying uh, even a juvie ad like adult uh, Alisor would definitely kill you. Wow, that was so cool, though. Oh, this was another one, I think. This was, uh, what do you call it? Um, this was at the end of Fallen Kingdom as well. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love that they've just added all these in now. Ooh. X oh, now Velociraptor, of course, these are aggression level extremely high. Uh -huh. uh, while returning to his car from a local nature preserve, a hiker stumbled upon a hunting pack of Velociraptors. He's fortunate to have escaped alive. Interesting. Okay, no secrets. No secrets. Okay, what is this? Whoa! Okay, so we have 
have like the Jurassic Park 3 Raptors? What? Cannon! <laughs> Okay, so many things here. So, for a start, he's definitely dead. <laughs> for, for second, that calling of the Velociraptor, I don't think that's Jurassic Park 3. It could be, but the last pounce is definitely Jurassic Park Raptor. But to see Jurassic Park 3 Raptors in canon now, that, you know, because it was like, Jurassic Park 3, is it canon? I don't know. <laughs> but now they're, they're in canon there? What is going on? I think we, we there's something said about dinosaurs um, coming back from Isla Sauna. There's a chance there's a Spinosaurus in here. <gasps> oh, we got to find it. We got to, was that Calgary? Yeah, we've seen Calgary. British Columbia. What's this? Oh, this is a video. Wow, this looks way too, like, cinematography-esque and professional. Oh, a videographer captured the moment his daughter watched the Segasaur peacefully cross the road. Okay. Aww. Warning! Trinons are nesting in this area. This behavior has been recorded as far back as 2001. I think we've seen that one. This one, yeah, we've seen that one as well. I don't know whether he sort of disappears over the ridge or something. Uh, yeah, we've seen the compy one. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, oh, I think the Photoshop could be a little bit better on the Mosasaur there. A whale watcher tour was cancelled after Mosasaur was spotted near Seattle. Aggression level high. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, Lockwood Manor has been added, as well as a secret. Ooh, the epicenter of dinosaurs reaching mainland America and the world over. Details are being withheld by officials as to exactly what happened here in 2018. But we do know that animal traffickers sold dozens of rescued dinosaurs from Isla Nubar to black market buyers from all over the world. Okay, what's the secret one? Subject forward official report from incident to Folsom City Department of Animal Control. I was dispatched to attend the area surrounding the Folsom City Zoo around 0609 after a report of a large predator on the loose. As a resident specialist in highly dangerous animals, I was aware of what predators the zoo has on premises and knew what equipment would be needed to sedate and secure what animal it could have been. Upon arrival to the vicinity, it became abundantly clear that the animal in question was not resi a resident of the zoo. It was what I could only describe as total destruction. It appeared the animal was still present in the zoo's outer woods area. Oh, this is, this might be talking about the T-Rex with the raw, the, uh, the lion at the end of Fallen kingdom i could hear what i now know to be roaring and it was getting closer i made the decision to exit my vehicle and was about to equip myself with my rifle and three 10 milligram cafentanil darts is that a callback to lost world and the sedation of the the t-rex on the boat maybe what at the moment uh, when at that moment the animal burst through the tree line besides my vehicle, clipping it with its leg and sending it over onto its roof. I was frozen in fear at the size of the thing. I walked straight past it walked straight past me like I wasn't even there. You know, you know if it was a T-Rex, right? I guess if it's in the dark, maybe not. Uh, by the time I recovered my rifle and tranks, it was long gone and my vehicle was in no drivable state of pursuit. I called it into HQ at 0647. Additional comments. We need to have an urgent conversation with the blah, blah, or even the National Guard. We have had 19 different reports of five different species of these dinosaurs and the calls are snowballing. The one I encountered today was definitely a T-Rex. Uh, just like San Diego 97. We are not equipped to handle these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should add for the record that some guy showed up showing, asking a lot of questions about the animal and seemed like he was a little too interested in certain details. He gave me his card and said if I tip him off with any of the reports, he would make it worth my while. I'm not losing my pension for a few hundred bucks. So, like, who, who, would, who would be after Rexy? Apart from somebody from Biosyn? It could be uh, Owen Grady, not Chris, sorry, my bad. Could be, oh, that's interesting. But we now have all of this Lockwood Manor added. We've also got something else here. Uh, the Mosasaur sighting. Aggression level high, sighting information. Multiple anonymous sources claim the giant Mosasaur was spotted off Alcatraz Island, but AV evidence is inconclusive. Status remains unconfirmed. Oh, and there is no special thing. No swimming Mosasaur sighting. Bitch closed. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine that being a problem. Oh, Big Rock National Park incident. In June 2019, several families were caught in the middle of a dinosaur 
uh, battle between the Allosaur and the Zootoceratops family. One eyewitness managed to capture the event on camera. I like this. They're, they're doing a lot of different... I mean, you saw it with like some 97 footage of uh, T-Rex running amok in San Diego for the uh, Fallen Kingdom sort of marketing was around. And this is cool. Oh, that's it. <laughs> wow, that looks awesome, though. That looks so cool. What's in Las Vegas? Ooh, a parasaur is in Las Vegas. Parasaur level low. Photographer Alex Stemluski captured this photo of a parasaur while out on a shoot. So is this going to be another influencer? Yeah, 19 million. Oh, hold on. He's, he's got his own thing. That thing. Do you see that? <laughs> it's sleeping. I'm gonna take a picture. Oh my god, it's waking up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this, that's that's really interesting. I like the uh, the parasaur called as well from JPOG. That's quite a nice touch. Okay, let's have a look at Hawaii. Oh yeah, we saw that one. That's the, uh, the most source. So is this where it's been tracked to? So it started out here. Yeah, where we saw the underground camera. Then it went, it's been tracked in Hawaii. Now it's gone to San Francisco. And last known coordinates was here. So we're seeing a live view of where the Mosasaurs go, and that's cool. Oh, Nairobi, this is interesting, Stiggy Moloch. Wildlife observers in Kenya were shocked to see a pride of lions hunting a Stiggy Moloch. Even all the way in Africa, we've got dinosaurs. Right, ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh, we've got something all the way over here. Oh yeah, that was the, the market, yes, I remember that. What is this? Allosaurus. While cycling to work, a restaurant owner managed to snap this image of an Allosaurus. He did a very good job. It's not even that blurry. <laughs> Rome. Ooh, comes on here. The person got too close to comes on here and ended up losing their camera to the animal. Ooh, let's see this. <sighs> How did it manage to hold that? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, there's so many Easter eggs in it. That's this so well done as well. Doll. <laughs> We've got a Panasaurus's in Austria. Family on vacation in... Oh, I'm going to try and pronounce that. National Park captured these two gentle giants while on a snowy hike. Ooh, okay. we got one in Paris. Ooh, sighted Gallimimus. Uh, a family in France films a herd of Gallimimus peacefully grazing in some farmland. Yeesh. Look. <laughs> Gallimimus. What we got here? Oh, we got something all the way on the coast here as well. More companies. Comstock natives have caused power outages in France. Local engineers sent to fix issue found them nesting in amongst the live equipment. They are so numerous that the swarm has yet to be safely relocated. Well, it's either that or they get, like, fried. Ooh, this one's new. Paris all of us in Malaysia. Tourists along the world-famous Pasir Panjang Beach followed a small herd of Paris all of us as they moved along the sand. One witness said they were unfazed by the small crowd that had gathered. We all managed to take plenty of photographs. It was a surreal moment. It really made our holiday. <laughs> Amsterdam. Aha! There it is! <laughs> Exciting information whilst on holiday, a tourist spotted a consonator and decided to have a staring contest despite the cool photo. The DPW does not advise getting close to this highly aggressive critter. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm actually, I'm canon, guys. I'm in the Jurassic Law as tourist. <laughs> so, I know what you must be thinking. Has it happened? Did Universal finally reach out to me? Did they actually want something to do with me? No. No, they didn't. This is all thanks to Jack Ewans, who's like a big part of the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park uh, community, who saw one of my previous videos on the Tracker website. And when I mentioned about how Universal just have never got in touch with me ever, he was like, what? Really? <laughs> so he contacted me and then said, yeah, we, we got to sort this out. So it's not because of Universal. It's actually because of basically the Jurassic community and Jack in this case, who I'm eternally grateful for that I can even have anything to do remotely, even canon, uh, even though I'm quoted as 
tourist in the Jurassic universe. So I just want to say thank you so much for reaching out. I mean, I was so happy to even be a part of this. So when it came to it, I didn't know if I wanted to put my face in or if they would even give that the green light. And I also didn't want to, you know, ruin the franchise. Not that I should know if my face in it would ruin it, but just that, you know, you get sucked out of it. A bit like a Wilhelm scream or, you know, that horse sound effect that plays in any, like, movie that has horses in it. So when Jack got in touch with me, it was basically like, you have like very short deadline to even try and it's because of him that he fought for it and managed to get that in. Uh, what's interesting actually is looking at uh, other influencers, I guess you influencers, that are a part of it and they're even, or some of them are even like tagged, like official TikToks and stuff. And I think that to me kind of just says where Universal's brain is at. Like they're happy to go with something with millions and millions of TikTok followers or, you know, that's the new in social media. Uh, whether they have anything to do with dinosaurs or like the franchise, doesn't matter. Just as long as they have a big following and a big reach, that's what matters. But stuff like this, and I'm not the only uh, person in the Jurassic community that's in these posts, the trackers and stuff like that. Um, but it's to a point where you wouldn't know unless you know, which is perfect. And I think that's the way it is. Because a lot of people, like this website isn't made for the general fan. This website is made for people in the dinosaur community, in the Jurassic community. Like nobody would care about the Jurassic Park 3 raptors. Like general audiences don't care about that. But he here they are, shown to still be alive, and not only be alive, but on the mainland, somewhere. How crazy is that? That is just a level of dedication and, uh, like, you could almost say fan service, but it's, you know, it's it's good fan service. It's not like, hey, look, the thing. This is in a website that is basically made to cater to, you know, hardcore fans and people who uh, enjoy the law and the, the way they branched out about it and, you know, going into detail with the Dennis Nedry and stuff like that, just tying in the loose ends, especially even capturing, showing Hoskins capture the Pteranodons. Oh, I also ended up missing this bit. Uh, I think it was in Brisbane and it's an amazing video. Like the CGI is beautiful of a Stiggy Morlock in a trailer. Check this out. This is so cool. I love everything about what this website is. And like I said, I sent loads of images. I, there was ones that showed my face, ones that were kind of like, you know, more neutral and, you know, as if, you know, unless you knew me, then you'd be like, oh, who's that sort of thing. But <laughs> it's great that like, the even Jurassic Outpost put, put a post. They, they posted it before I've even posted it. So yeah, thanks again, Jack. And thank you to the Jurassic community for allowing this to happen. Love you. Mwah, kisses. <laughs> So, so far, we haven't seen a Trussoraptor in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Like, the DLC, the Biosyn Dominion DLC, hasn't got it. It has Pyroraptor, but it doesn't have a Trussoraptor. Which has also led to a lot of people thinking, like, why? Why are we not going to get that? Or is it going to be, like, more paid for DLC later? But at least here, we get a little bit more information about it. So, Atrociraptors have only been documented in captivity in illegal dinosaur markets and are not believed to have wild populations. So, maybe that's why we haven't seen you know, a Trociraptor yet. It's possible that we might get it in the actual DLC when that fully comes out, because if if we do have a Trociraptor in the Biosyn DLC for Jurassic World Evolution, it kind of says that Biosyn have something to do with a Trociraptor, and that might be a spoiler. So that could be the reason why we don't have that just yet. So you apparently do keep your distance and back off slowly, making yourself as unthreatening as possible, and only make loud sounds and fight back if attacked. But this should be as a last result. And do not run. They're faster than you and powerful jumpers. As uh, Well, it's saying that, I think... Friggin' Claire Deering is a powerful jumper. She's jumping from building to building and it seems to be okay. I think I've seen everything. There's probably like a couple of secrets here and there that I've probably missed, but I just wanted to have an update on this. And also, my ego is huge now. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it, it, it's really nice to even be a part of this. I didn't want to do something that was a bit too out there or too on the nose. Like, hey, or, you know, it's if somebody doesn't know who 
I am, they could get away with this. You're like, oh, right, okay. You know, maybe Universal turn their back on me and don't really care, but at least the community do somewhat. So that's nice. I'd rather have that, <laughs> to be fair. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.